Hey guys, today is a Sunday, June the 4th of 2023, and I wanted to go over static cycles. Uh, lately, you guys have been noticing I've been using uh, dynamic cycles, but this one is going to be interesting, and this one is going to be for you if you want to try to use it and uh, put it in your chart. I'm using natural gas as an example, since it's a very hot topic as of late. So without any further delay, let's get into it. Well, what I want to show you and teach you is how to use the dynamic uh, static cycle, sorry, and how to apply it on your chart and what to do and what ranges to use. So what I like to do is I like to take the, the highest high, which is that uh, August 23rd high of 1002, and then take the lowest low and then just define the battle zone, which is this area right here. I'm not worried about all this over here. I'm focusing from that last high to this low and where we at now. So what I do, these are the tools you're going to be using. And mind you, this is a weekly chart and this is a trading view, which is free. You could use, I use the vertical line. That's the indicator right there. And I'm going to show you what I use with that. And then if you go right here and patterns, there's two uh, indicators I use tools, time cycles and sine waves. So the first one is that I put and I, categorize here, call it the weekly cycles, because it's a weekly time frame, and I'm using candles, Hekanashis. These are my favorite because they give you color codes. They tell you when when the trend is in your favor, and you just ride the wave. It's just one of my favorite uh, candle colors or indicators that I like to use in regards to candles. <clears throat> so you first want to use uh, the uh, vertical lines, and I label this one uh, high range 1002 right here and I put a low one uh, I call it low range 194 right here so this defines the area where I'm working in and then the th next thing you want to do you want to take the uh, time cycle which is this one right here that one right there click on that and then you create a time cycle so you pivot from here and then you're gonna pivot from here. Why here? Because you're picking high to highs. That's what I labeled it, high to high. So you get this high, and you see that night gas went down, and then it went up, and then from there it went down. So you're pivoting it here, and you color it green. You can put whatever color. I put green because it's from high to high. It makes sense to me, you know, color coding wise. <clears throat> and then you can see into the future that it went down, and it made a low here, and it popped, for like two weeks and then it went down normally what would happen is that you know that gas would go down and then i have a little another little spike and this one could probably you know using probability pinpoint that one and then it goes down and then you're shorted there into the future because you anchored from these two but sometimes you know it's not doesn't happen in a perfect world but and that gas just crashed down and then found the low right where it would think it would be a high and then did it inverse. So you can see how the uh, nuances is with these cycles. And then there's another high here and it kind of came in early with the static cycle and now we're kind of here. So this would be another high or it could be another low and that's somewhere around August 21st of 2023. So this is using this, uh, uh, static cycle the next one you want to do is go to the uh bottom and remember we're in this range i'm not worried about and you know low to low here i'm focusing on the first low that we made in this range it's here so you create one here time cycle and here you could be a little tricky you could pick this one or you could also pick this one i have it where sometimes i would just uh you know extend it go back and forth but this is the main one we know and uh, this is you know you know subject to what you want to do uh, but i like to go on both of these this is the real low if we could continue going here it'll obviously stay here but you know we're coming in to something here important which is uh june the 20th and i want to see what price action is going to do is it going to do a little capitulation here and then bounce this is the little things you want to see because this is from low to low so that's why i have it there once we pass june 20th then i'll extend this and then in the future um this would be interesting to see 
uh, September the 25th. So you're getting the, uh, the lingo and the style of how I would uh, do this here. And I'm trying to managing this here both. So you see, you got your highs to highs, lows to lows. These are important uh, cycles where you want to walk, keep an eye. And then the next thing I do is I uh, do what I call the first impulse, high to low. So from here, this is the first wave that we got or impulse. And then this is the time cycle that's shooting out into the future. As you can see, it picked up, you know, this here kind of lined up with here. So this is a strong vibration, what I call where things are just kind of clustering in. And we got a pop, but nothing really major. And then it pulled back. And then it goes all the way up here. And you can see there's not really nothing going on there. Mind you, my lines are not straight, but you get the idea. Nothing really there. And then this cycle goes down. So it's going to be interesting to see what's going to be happening here. Then the next thing I do is I add what I call, you see I'm labeling it first impulse high to low. This is the first wave that came down. And then I have the first impulse uh, correction swing, which is this little minor one that happens. So this is a little swing, and this is a little more fractal. It goes back and forth. You can see right here, it picked this low here, and then it goes up. Nothing really happened here, but I'm, I'm monitoring all of these. And we're entering now one coming into this week, and it goes back and forth. So this one is yellow due to the fact that if you go to the, um, what I call it, the color coding here, and you could change all these colors if you want, you know, whatever suits your eyes. I kind of have it, you know, cause it's on the top of the range. I have it next to the green. You'll see one coming into, which is orange, which is kind of be in the lower range. And then one that's kind of gray, which is current. So you could change these colors, whatever, you know, I know some people have issues with colors and they can't see certain ones. So, after I like the black background, I could kind of see these colors pop at me in my eyes. And I can see what's going on. So you kind of get the idea using these static cycles within this weekly chart. And then I go and continue and go into the uh, second impulse, which is now from this high to this low. That was a big move down. And then you see that it goes up right up here. Uh, with these peaks up here, but these are bigger ones, and then it goes down somewhere here. So it shows me that this is the impulse that I'm watching. I want to see how this is going to fluctuate into the future. And then from there, you know, now we're down here. You know, I could have put one up here, but if you do that, it's going to be like back and forth. And this is a weekly chart, so you're going to see that it's going to make sense not using one that's just like two weeks. So I skipped this one and picked one that was a couple of weeks, I think maybe like six weeks going in into this low. And I call that the uh, uh, second correction high to low, which is this one with this, with, with this is the same color of this. And it goes down here and uh, into the future. Now there's a peak here. So it'll be interesting to see what's going on here. It's kind of stalling. You can see how everything is kind of like, you know, mirroring each other from these different moves in, in the past. And then lastly, <clears throat> I have one that I call current swing, which is where we at now, which is gray. It's kind of light and you see that it's from this low and it hits this peak here. This is going to fluctuate a lot. I'm going to be changing it, but I have it here now and seeing how all this is all playing out. So this is what I call my static cycle chart on the weekly. You could do it for the daily. You could do it for the monthly. If you like this, I could show you one, you know, for the daily. And uh, I could show you one for the monthly. But I, I just kind of picked the uh, mid time frame, the weekly, so you could kind of get an idea. So what you could get out of this? What is that you could tell things could possibly happen into the future by looking at what it has done in the past as an imprint. So it's like, it's like a DNA that is imprinted in time. And that, you know, if you want to forecast, this is what kind of Gan was doing, but he was doing more deeper stuff than this. This is just kind of more on the surface, but it does help out when you kind of tie this with seasonalities and, you know, dynamic cycles. So just to brush up real quick, 
before I end this video because I don't want to make it too long. Uh, show you step by step real quick. So first thing you want to do, you want to do your range. You get your high. You want to put um, your low, find it, put your, your, uh, your vertical line. Next, you get a pivot, swing, pick the other high. And then from there, it's going to be shooting out into the future. You can see that for timing points. The next one is within this range, you pick the low, put one here, then put one there. And if there's another low in the future, you anchor it, you go back and forth to see which one is going to work into the future. And once you pass one, you put that one there and then you look into the future, see how that's going to play out. From there, you get the uh, impulse from that, all, you know, not all time high, but this current high. And where it turns, that's your anchor. And then you're going to see how that's going to be playing out into the future. The second one is that correction is important within this. So that's why I call, color called them the same color because they're, they're linked together. You know, this is the, the impulse wave and this is the correction. That's why they group the same color yellow. Then from there, you go into the uh, swing high that had another impulse so it's another cycle by itself and then you uh, create a small one which here didn't wasn't too much of a bump but you take this high and connect this one here same color coded because they're in the same family now we're in the lower range of this uh, uh of this range here now we're more in the bottom so that's more to the red color and you see that this fluctuates into the future and then lastly um uh, that was the correction and then lastly i have is the uh current what i call this is like the la the latest swing and this one i'll always keep adjusting just to see what happens and this is what we have so far hopefully you like this video and if you like more of this kind of stuff you know i could show you the uh, daily and the monthly or i could show you some other stuff you could you know practice and do it on your charts and, uh, and then you can see what price action does and see if it can help you uh, forecasting into the future.